in my head that tells me non-stop how bad I paint in comparison with other people. That voice that I hear since I was very small has always been my companion. It keeps me small, invisible, it tells me how should I talk, dress and even live my life. Sometimes that voice leaves me alone and I find peace. In those moments I feel I can do anything. I feel shiny and strong and powerful. Then the voice comes back and I am back in my small space trying to occupy as little space as possible in this world. Do you have that voice inside your head too? A voice that reminds you to look in the mirror searching for imperfections in your body and the one that tells you to shut your mouth when you are in a social situation because you are not interesting enough, beautiful enough, intelligent enough. For that voice, we will never be enough. It never stops. Because that voice is the one that keep us small, fragile, and needy. That voice makes us feel we will get better if we get the newest and most expensive things. That voice wants to replace wholeness with materialism. Have you ever wondered if that voice is actually your voice? Because when you listen to all these awful things about yourself, it is good to pay attention. Is it my own voice? Mountains are great teachers. Mountains don't bother if they take too much space. Mountains are good as they are. No matter how tall, how short, how thick, how uneven, how full of stones, lava, or even mud. Mountains can endure sunshine and cold, thunder and earthquakes, even tsunamis. Even when the wind blows really strong, the mountain stays so firm. Even if self-love feels impossible sometimes, you are perfect the way you are. Stay firm. Stay strong. Just like mountains do. <laughs>